various members of our committee, all of us have from time to time in the course of these hearings, uh, suggested our awareness of the fact that there is no one single factor that is creating what is known as juvenile delinquency in this country. Uh, we have consistently, and I believe conscientiously, tried to avoid giving the impression or seeming to have arrived upon conclusions that would indicate that there is a panacea, that there is a cure-all, a golden specific. If you do away with the comic books, uh, we're not going to have any trouble at all, young people getting into trouble. I, I think that we all approached our, our problem here with, uh, certainly with that basic premise that we don't expect to find that there's one thing or another thing. Many things are cumulative, many things are incalculable and, and imponderable in this whole vast and complex subject. And I think the more that we have seen of this, during these past several months when we have been holding our hearings and uh, studying and reading upon the subject. We are keenly conscious of the fact that uh, the ramifications and complexities of this are uh, at times seemingly almost insuperable. But we're still trying, and uh, we didn't come here with in any effort to, through sensationalism, or by bringing people in to subject them to inquisition, to make it appear that we necessarily believe that this particular phase of activity is, is or is not uh, hurtful or a contributing factor. We just don't know. We're, we're trying to trying to learn.